Corey Kennedy, you're a real Covey. Could I'm you be classified as a Covey? I'm, I'm long up in it. Were you born here? I was, yeah. Born yes. above on John's Row. So you're a real Covey. One, one, yeah. one of 13. Yeah. One of 13, yeah. yeah. And what year were you born in? 46. 46. 46. <laughs> yes, 46. That's going to give myself the next two years. <laughs> and has the town changed much in the... Oh, yeah. The town has changed for the better. What's the big difference? Real tourist town. Brilliant. Tidy town doing a great job. Uh, we have everything and anything in Westport. So anyway, the big changes? Oh, uh, big changes, yeah. yeah. It's for the better, though. Yeah. We have everything and anything. We have tourist attractions. We have Propatic. We have lovely beaches. We have the, the Greenway, Westport House. You name it, we have it. We have all the big shops now. And uh, all we need now is to have good value in the shops, which we have. And uh, it's attracting more tourists every year. You ran a business here yourself? I did, yeah. I was uh, nearly 20 years at a fish shop in Westport there, at up the Octagon. Up the corner here? Yeah. Over there? Yeah. Uh, With the bakery is now? Yeah, now, yeah. Okay. How long were you there for? Uh, I was there about 20 years. 20 years, uh, yeah. And I had a good successful business there and supplied some of the hotels and family business. Brilliant at the time, just that we moved on, moved on, changes. And you doing a bit of mobile stuff? Do a mobile one to Claremars every Wednesday now. How long have you had that for? I've done that for over 40 years. Uh, 40 years? Yeah, though. at least, yeah. 40 years. And I still do one or two of the hotels yeah. and yeah. just step back a little yeah. bit from it and uh, a couple of days and I'll keep at it and uh, one or two of the family is interested but uh, we'll see what happens when I get too old. But I, yeah. And what did you work at before you went into the business on your own? I worked, I opened the right cleaners for McAleer's called Flu Bay Cleaners, where the present cl uh, cleaners is over there now. Yeah. At the clock. Yeah. Uh, I started that. Went yeah, you worked for McAleer, did you? Went, went away and trained yeah. for that. Uh, and were there any other dry cleaners in town that time? No. That you were the first, first, well, the first, first dry... First dry cleaner to open the And what year did you open it? Oh, you're talking about 60, probably 68, 69 on. About 20 years. And how long did that last for then? It's still going today. Only still going. Name, yeah. Different name, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. And when you were young, did you play football and all that kind of stuff around I town? I did, yeah. I played snooker, played football. Uh, loved the snooker, spent all our time in the town hall. Very disappointed with the town hall though that we don't have the snooker tables up there anymore. Yeah. We had badminton, snooker, table tennis, squash. That's all gone now. But that's part well, of the squash the, isn't the squash is down the uh, Harkins Hill now, yes. is it? Yeah, the squash in Harkins Hill, yeah. that's right. But we had uh, badminton, sorry, mostly badminton. Okay, but uh, in the ball alley there as well, we spend our time in the ball alley. But there's, there's, there's no. Uh, who was playing? Who was playing the handball that time? Who was the handballers around? Well, there was a there was a man called Bella McNally from Peter Street. He was yeah. probably you could call him an Irish champion. And uh, uh, there was another man above in the Cotchers brother called Black McNally. Could be a connection to Michael Rings. Maybe uh, I'm not sure. It could be a grandfather of Michael Rings. Yeah. And uh, a lot of the older guys there, the Gannons from the Cottages, Johnny Barry. But they're all old guys, the young oh, fellas no, didn't take it up after, did no, they? The young guys took it up then, but there were uh, a batch, probably just older than me, and then it dwindled away then. Yeah, you know, yeah. All these lads went away. Did you play soccer? Played a bit of soccer with Westbrook United, and then yeah, we yeah. formed a team then. Uh, they were on the go for quite a few years. Uh, there was, three, there was three, three of us on the team, three brothers. Uh, three of the Kennedy brothers. There were, it was called Crusaders. Crusaders. And, uh, yeah, we had a good few years' enjoyment of that, going away every Sunday. Uh, then our, our male league matches. Uh, and who else is on that team? There was uh, Tommy Sheridan, Sean Sheridan, Gerard Curry, and um, Martin Kane, believe it or not, played a bit of football. You two left feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was. Uh, he tried anyway. Yeah. There was um, Liam Quinn in the key. There was, again, I said there was my brother Gary Eamon and myself. And there was uh, uh, Leo Durkin was in goal. Pat Foley would have played on it. Uh, there was, uh, and do you have one, a pitch? One of the Smiths. We played uh, at the point at the key in Westport. Okay. And we, we played, uh, there was a pitch down there, 
near the, the mart now, uh, it was called Munster's Field. Okay. We, we actually used to use that field clear in for that. And uh, that was the good old days. And were you captain of that team at any stage? Huh? Sorry? Were you captain of the team ever? No. Just, just. Uh, and who were the captains in your time? Well, they did different guys going out on different Sundays. To get the captain, it's used to different guys. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't the yearly thing, no? No, it wasn't oh, the no. big team. Oh, okay, right. Uh, did you play any other sport then? Played a bit of Gaelic, like. Gaelic, yeah. Gaelic, uh, Small bit of rugby. Mm. Played him. Liked to swim and liked to love swimming down the point. Mm. Did you play rugby, you did? A small bit, not yeah. that much. What year was it that? Can oh, you remember? I it was only a Gosford. In Gosford, yeah. <laughs> Who was involved at that time? Can you remember? Oh, Mark McNally, Stephen Brahney, a few of the diehards. Yeah, the diehards. Paddy Hoban. 